Hi guys, it is a gorgeous morning here in the end times in the shithole town of Austin, Texas here on this lovely Tuesday morning, December 11th, 2018. And before the little Christmas elf and I head back to the Optimus Club Christmas tree lot to sell dead trees to clueless fucking morons, I have the bittersweet uh, task of welcoming the newest 100 <clears throat> members to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, where you have 100 more people uh, ignoring their mother's advice and coming down this rabbit hole for whatever reason. And <clears throat> So probably some of you know what, uh, what that means. And so before I get into the sweet part of this rant, uh, I just want to say if you have ever found it in your heart, in your wallet, to throw a bone to Hambone Littletail and Sancho Panza for our work on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my little ham bone heart and you have permission to shut this video down because I am not talking to you. Okay, but little dog, I'm going to put you down and we're going <clears> to <throat> go through the pleasant part of this video and this is to thank all of my, uh, the people who, since we hit 6,200 members, we are now at 6,300 members. I want to thank all of the following Alert Tribes members who have stepped up to the plate since I hit 6,200 subs on November 19th. So let's start out with my Patreon page. Actually, we're going to start out with Sancho Panza's Patreon page. Sancho Panza does have a Patreon page and I want to thank Brother Miles for uh, joining, uh, helping out Sancho Panza for his work spreading love and joy through the universe. Thank you uh, Sancho and Miles for my own Patreon page. I'm not sure I'm spreading that much uh, joy through the universe. But anyway, thank you. Well, of course, any, all of you guys, I would love every day to thank every one of my monthly patrons. But joining my, that small club who do I have to thank? Several people. Mark Adams, Thomas Ward, Brian Poe, Naveen, Sylvester, Gary, Sherry. I really want to thank Sherry for your very kind donation to my monthly Patreon. And Nancy, I want to thank all of you folks for your kind donation, monthly donations to the cause. Your dues are paid and you can shut this rant down now. Okay, let's go over to my GoFundMe account. My ham bone needs money for his gas sucking truck which I think I'm going to change to Hambone Needs Money for his Rotten Teeth Challenge. Who do we have uh, helping me put money in my gas sucking truck? Uh, Urban Hermit. I want to thank you very much, darling, for your very kind, uh, for your very kind contribution to my GoFundMe uh, account. Tess Martin, thank you very much. 
Frederick, thank you very much. Jerry Altum, thank you very much for your kind donation, and it was fun getting to finally meet you on the phone. Jan Hubert, I greatly appreciate it. And Barbara Johns, this very morning, and Derek. Don't think that's Derek Jensen, but thank you, Derek. All you folks helping me put money in my gas sucking truck and to fix my rotten teeth. <clears throat> okay, let's go over to Humpty Dumpty Tribe PayPal account. We have Brother Marty Knudsen. Thank you, Brother Marty Knudsen, followed by Brother Marty Knudsen. Uh, Brother Marty is one, one of my angels uh, on the tribe. Uh, brother, uh, whoever you are, uh, I really appreciate your regular donations to my PayPal account. Here is one I was actually quite shocked to see a donation from, but I greatly appreciate it, darling. This would be Colette from the Beltane Cottage over there in, uh, I believe, in Ireland. Uh, Colette has not always had the best words to say about me, but anyway, I do appreciate <coughs> the gift, uh, Colette. If you have not checked out Colette's channel, you should. Christina, good Lord girl, Christ, Sister Christina over there in Spain, I absolutely appreciate uh, <clears throat> the double, the double uh, donation to my PayPal account. You are paid up for life. Sister Johanna, Thank you very much, darling. Oh, well, I need to, I'll come back to uh, Sister Johanna. Okay, I want to send out a special from the bottom of my heart thank you to Brother Ken Greenfield for your over-the-top kind donation to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, Brother Ken, I, I, I am truly touched by, by this kind donation. Your, your dues are paid at Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles for life. If uh, I, I could get one person a month to uh, step up to the plate like you, brother, uh, I would not be going to a Christmas tree lot for $12.50 an hour today. Okay. And Brother Roger Watson, thank you, I believe from Canada. Thank you very much, Brother Roger, for your kind donation. And then of course, folks, you can always send checks or money orders to uh, to Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, and I want to thank the, and, and I feel like I'm missing a couple of people. Sometimes I'm not that good at recording the checks and money orders, because, you know, because I'm not right here on my computer, but I hope I'm, I hope I have everyone covered here. Um, so, Sister Johanna, I am so happy I, I found that very kind money order from last February when I was looking for Sancho Panza's rabies vaccination after he viciously attacked that little kid at the Christmas tree lot. I guess the whole reason for that is I never would have found this very kind money order if, uh, if Sancho Panza had not attacked that little brat. So thank you, Sancho Panza, and that little brat for torturing my dog, or I never would have known about this very kind money order. Okay, who else? Greg and Donna. 
thank you very much for your kind donation. And finally, Mr. Anonymous, Mr. or Mrs. Anonymous from the great state of Texas is all I will say. Thank you for your kind donation to the cause. And with that, guys, that is the sweet part of, the, uh, of this rant or whine. So once again, if you are one of these folks, or if you have ever found it in your heart and wallet to throw a bone uh, my way for the work that I do on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and the rest of this rant is not for you. And I want to make it clear who this rant is also not for. It is not for anybody that is in the same financial states, straits that I am in. If you, uh, after listening to this rant, are going to go to a fucking Christmas tree lot, for instance, to sell dead trees for clueless morons for $12.50 an hour to try to pay your damn taxes. This rant is not for you. If you are, if your teeth are so rotten that you're filing your busted molars with a fingernail file, I am not talking to you. If you are uh, being stressed financially, uh, this, this rant is not for you. So who is this rant for? I guess this rant is for the 99% of my subscribers who have never one time in their life thrown me as much as one dollar for what I do here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Yet, whenever they go out for a beer or a meal, they will hand uh, someone they have never met who works for them for about two to five minutes, they will hand, uh, you know, a tip to thanking them for their service. So if you can afford to, uh, to tip your waiter or waitress for providing a service that they are providing for you, then you can probably afford to tip me and other doomers out here in the doomosphere doing essentially what I do. If you are getting any sort of benefit from the service I provide you, be it entertainment, education, and you want to say thank you, Hambone Little Tail, and Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, and Sancho Panza, we really appreciate what you're doing, uh, bringing, taking this time out of your life to bring us this information that nobody wants to talk about. We appreciate you, what you're doing, and, and here is a tip for your services. You are the people I'm talking to. The 99% of my subscribers who have never coughed up a dollar because it, it is a completely voluntary request. You know, it was one of the <clears throat> guys who works for tips at the tree lot yesterday was having the same discussion with me. He's going, you know, Hambone, that cheapskate motherfucker, he, you know, that he just put some $150 tree <coughs> on top of some $60,000 SUV going back to some million dollar mansion stiffing the kid for a tip. You know, this guy was saying, I'll bet you dollars to donuts, Hambone, that that cheapskate is going to stop for dinner uh, somewhere on the way home, uh, you know, with his family and, and, and hand the waiter a $10 tip 
for doing about one-fourth the work I just did for them. And I said, yes, brother, I can feel your pain. I know just how you feel. And uh, he said, well, Hambone, you don't work for tips. And, 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 I, and I said, if you only knew, brother. And he gave me one of these weird looks that people give me and walked away. And uh, so I, 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 you know, I, I'm simply, th 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 this is who I'm talking to in this rant. If, if you can find a few dollars to, to give uh, a, a waiter or a waitress providing you some sort of service that you benefit, maybe you can just give me a little bit of moral support to say thank you here in the holiday season. And I don't know whether I want to go, you, you know, into into this bigger rant about this whole this whole notion of our people who who do YouTube videos who do not monetize their channels, who do not make you sit through these goddamn ads, who do not play the corporate whore game. Uh, do these people have a right, have a right to have the audacity to ask for people enjoying their work on YouTube or on their blogs or whatever? Do they have the right to suggest that people enjoying their work might actually throw them a few dollars. And, you know, I got this comment, it was over there on Collapse Chronicles, this, this guy telling me he really appreciates the work that I am doing on Collapse Chronicles and he knows I am the real deal because I do not ask for a penny for my work. You know, with the implication being that if I did exactly the same work that I do on Collapse Chronicles, but suggested that maybe someone might want to throw me a penny every now and then, that, that I was invalidated by that, that I was not the real deal. And then I go from that comment and I listened to this video by one of my very own top lieutenants. Uh, and I love you, brother. Uh, one of my top lieutenants uh, here in the Doomosphere who does not monetize his channel nor ask for uh, donations for what he does. And I, and I might say he has contributed to a Humpty Dumpty tribe, and I do, and, and I do appreciate it. You know, talking about uh, the, you know, how YouTube is just turning into one more big fucking uh, sucking at the corporate tit. How, how that YouTube has just gone to totally corporate, and how so few people anymore aren't playing the fucking corporate horror game, and, and all of this, uh, you know, ranting about that, and, and then at the end of his rant, he's asking people to uh, subscribe to his channel, and he says, I will not troll you. I will not troll you by asking for money if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, it, it, it implying, I guess, that, that people on YouTube uh, who, who ask for voluntary donations from their, uh, from their subscribers for the work they do were trolls. Now, I sent him a rather nasty slap on the wrist and he emailed me back going, Hey, bon, well, I wasn't talking about you. Well, brother, that's, the, that's what people hearing this shit coming out of your mouth are, are, are carrying away with it. That uh, if, if, if someone doing this content, bringing this message out, 
You know, guys, this is the new paradigm. If you're sitting here, uh, you know, whining and ranting uh, about all of these fucking corporate whores on YouTube, you know, running their goddamn ads or whatever, then if we're trying to create a new paradigm here uh, in, in, in the end times, it's called, uh, you know, chop wood and carry water. You know, if you're not out there uh, producing this content yourself, then maybe you want to be out there supporting the people who are. So here, here's a few other uh, trolls from the Dumasphere who uh, are not real because they have the audacity to ask for voluntary donations. Well, besides me, we, of course we have uh, that guy I never talk about on this channel. And, and I will say right here, I'm going to use the guy's name. If you get something from Guy McPherson's uh, you know, whether it be YouTube or his blog or whatever, if you are getting a service from Guy McPherson, you deserve, uh, not yet, Guy McPherson deserves some money from you. Support the guy, even though he has a deep pocket sugar tent, uh, you know, paying his rent and flying him around the planet. It should make no difference whether or not Guy McPherson has a little deep pocket sugar tent supporting him. If you're getting some benefit from his work, send the guy a few bucks. You know, Guy McPherson has my full support. He might think that I am a grifter. Uh, Guy McPherson, of course, you know, being the biggest grifter uh, in the Dumasphere. But I support the man. If, if the definition of being a grifter is asking for voluntary donations for somebody's work, <clears throat> who else? Of course, Paul Beckwith. And again, I don't know how much money Paul Beckwith makes uh, from his teaching salaries. It should make no fucking difference whether or not he's, he's a millionaire or a pauper like I am. Uh, if you're getting some service from Paul Beckwith, throw him a few bucks. How about Dar Jamail? If you appreciate what Dar is doing, throw him a few bucks. Uh, even though he is, you know, a, a paid journalist. Same with Nafiz Ahmed. Uh, again, uh, James Howard Kunstler. It's Kunstler is the, you know, is the guy who finally talked me into doing this. You know, for seven years I never uh, suggested donating to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and it was and it was Kunstler who finally convinced me, well, Hambun, if you're out there doing this work and, and, and for these people and, and they're getting something of value to their lives, maybe uh, you should ask for a voluntary donations like I do. Thank you, James Howard Kunstler, for talking me into it. Uh, who else? Dmitry Orlov. Well, Dmitry, you know, when he and I were talking, he, he just said, dude, I finally just got sick and tired of the fucking cheapskates and made my blog a paid blog that, uh, you know, he put it on, uh, I guess, Patreon. And, it, you know, saying if these cheapskates can't cough up a fucking dollar bill, uh, one fucking dollar a month, which, what is that? A dollar bill is a 15% tip on a $7 sandwich or beer is what we're talking about. And, you know, that's what Dimitri told me, like, basically, fuck them. That I just got sick and tired of dealing with the cheapskates, and I just made my, my blog a paid blog. And uh, so other people have suggested that I make 
Humpty Dumpty tribe, a paid vlog, and say if these cheapskates can't uh, cough up a fucking dollar a month or a twelve dollar a year PayPal donation or whatever. Uh, anyway, guys, I at least for now, while I'm deciding what to do, I'm going to keep on doing what I do. Uh, for free with no ads so all of my lovable cheapskate parasites can keep on being their lovable cheapskate parasite selves until maybe uh, their, their little twinge of conscience will say maybe we should throw uh, these doomers such as Hambone and Sancho Panza a few bones here in the Christmas season so he doesn't have to go break his fucking back and give himself a hernia working for $12.50 a fucking hour with his five years of journalism training selling dead trees to clueless fucking morons uh, at the Optimist Club. Speaking of which, I'm running late so I don't even have time to do a chronicle of the collapse today because I gotta go bust my fucking ass making $12.50 an hour because I can't get these fucking cheapskate parasites listening to me uh, to cough up a fucking dollar uh, in, in Christmas. Merry Christmas for anyone who has ever donated uh, a dollar to what I do. I really appreciate it. And all kidding aside, Happy Holidays to you folks. Bye, guys.